What's going on everyone? Welcome to Learn Hunter. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that how you can install WooCommerce plugin to your WordPress website for making an e-commerce website. So you can see that uh, this is the WooCommerce plugin. Uh, you can download it from here, but I will not download from here because I will add uh, in a different way. Uh, we all know that WooCommerce is a really popular um, plugin and a really easy to use plugin we can use with WordPress for creating any types of e-commerce website. Okay, so I don't want to talk anymore. Let's go to our WordPress dashboard. So I'm simply going to my WordPress dashboard. So this is the website and in this website, I'm going to install the WooCommerce plugin. All right, so you can see that here's my domain name. I have already logged in. You will have to log in to your WordPress website. So simply, I'm just uh, going to the dashboard. Uh, this is my dashboard. You, uh, you will have to type your uh, domain name and after that, simply you'll have to type wp-admin, okay? Slash wp-admin, all right? So I have already logged in, so I'm not talking about this. Oh, uh, and after the logging into your app, WordPress dashboard, you will have to simply click on plugins and then simply uh, click on add new this one right here at the top of the dashboard add new and from here we are going to add the WooCommerce plugin all right so simply from here you will have to search plugins so I'm searching here WooCommerce WooCommerce W O C O M E R C type here and then you can see that this is the plugin uh, by automating this have almost uh, 5 million plus active installations oh, okay and uh, this plugin have also a great ratings okay and this plugin uh, had updated almost uh, three days ago and it's uh, compatible with the latest WordPress version okay so for installing this you will have to click here install now I'm, I'm clicking here and you can see that it's installing All right, friends. So after installing this WooCommerce plugin, what you will have to do is simply uh, clicking on activate. Uh, you will have to click on activate. Okay, we are activating this plugin. All right. So you can see uh, that it's already activated. It's taking us to a new page. So let's see that where. It takes us. Oh, all right, guys. So you can uh, see that this is the page that WooCommerce takes us. Uh, okay, so right now you will have to put some information about uh, your store. So here you can uh, add your web uh, store location. Okay, so simply I'm typing here my location. Uh, let's uh, write here Taka and if you are from New York you can type here New York or your city name and the, uh, this address line too is optional you can give it or not whatever you want I'm keeping it blank and after that you will have to select uh, your country so I'm simply clicking here and then typing my country name uh, you can select uh, any country all right, so uh, I'm selecting Bangladesh from here because my store will be located in Bangladesh. And if your store is located in New Year, then you can select New Year. So simply I'm uh, typing here BD, uh, okay, Bangladesh, you can see that. Bangladesh, BNGLA, Bangladesh, Taka. All right, and after that, from here, you, know, you can enter your city name. I'm entering my city name. My city name will be uh, Taka. And then let's enter a post code. So simply, you can go to Google and type uh, and search here for your city uh, postal code. I'm typing here uh, Uttara postal code. This is my city name. No. Oh, Google is asking me for verification. So simply, I'm clicking here. I'm not a robot. Uh, and then uh, let's select crossworks. Crossworks. All right. This and this. All right, my friends. You can see that. 
all done and I'm pressing uh, verify all right you can see that so it's showing us the results so it's a 1230 so simply I'm uh, coming back and then enter the postal code and after that uh, here is another option I'm just uh, unchecking this I don't want to check this because I'm not creating this website for any client okay and after that simply click on continue and friends if you don't give any of this information from here uh, then you don't have to worry about this because later you can change all the settings from the WooCommerce settings options we will see that in future okay so uh, if you want to skip you can simply click here skip setup uh, store details okay so uh, I'm not escaping I have provide all the details and after that I'm clicking here continue all right and then simply uh, click on yes count me and then continue all right and after that uh, it's telling us to choose the industry our store operates so I'm selecting fashion uh, apparel and accessories health and beauty all right you can select any other I'm selecting these two and then uh, clicking continue all right and after that what uh, you will have to do that what type of product you are selling by this website I mean what type of product you will sell uh, by using this website I'm uh, selecting physical and digital both and here are a few more options if you want to uh, use these types this of uh, five types of product then you will have to pay them okay so I'm not uh, choosing any of them this because I'm going to uh, use the free version all right so after that I'm clicking and continue click continue so after that it's telling us to tell uh, us about our business so simply uh, it's asking a question how many product uh, products do you want to uh, do you plan to display uh, I want to display uh, up to 1000 products okay you can uh, choose any of this number okay and after that it's telling us currently selling elsewhere so I'm selecting from uh, here uh, yes I own a different store powered by WooCommerce. No, I don't have any uh, WooCommerce store right now. So uh, I'm simply selecting no. Okay. And after that, uh, you can install all these three plugins, but I don't want to install these plugins. Okay. So simply I'm uh, disabling this. So simply click this, this switch button. All right. After that, simply click continue from here. Okay. You can see that and the last option uh, they're giving is um, they're telling us to choose a, a theme okay so I don't want to choose any theme because I want to use my uh, current theme Astra okay it's a really great theme you can uh, try it we also have video tutorials about Astra theme you can check that out I will give the link in the description below so friends are uh, uh, I'm simply clicking here continue with my active theme okay I don't want to uh, install any other theme that's why uh, I have clicked there so after that it's telling us to uh, install the jetpack uh, WordPress plugin but I don't want that's why I simply I'm clicking no thanks all right after clicking no thanks you can see that we are in the uh, WooCommerce dashboard okay you can uh, do a lots of things you can add products uh, you can set up the payment gateways you can set up tax you can set up shipping you can personal um, personalize uh, your store etc etc and a lot more all right guys so this is how easy it is to install the WordPress uh, WooCommerce plugin in your WordPress website okay so I hope that uh, you have successfully installed the WooCommerce plugin in your WordPress site and if you face any problem then please feel free to comment down in the description below and if you want to hire us for WordPress web design service you can contact us through our website or our uh, email address I will give our website link in the description below and if you want to get all the upcoming videos uh, from our channel related to computer programming uh, web development uh, apps development or WordPress 
uh, ACO, etc., etc., uh, and a lot more, then please subscribe our channel. Okay, so see you in the next video. Goodbye.